beautiful child of God. Uh, my name is Chinere Isibo. Hallelujah. And I'm here to invite you to our next Kingdom Praying Women meeting. You know, this meeting is going to be different from everything we've held in the past. And this is our first one in 2022. It took us a while. I've, I've just been, you know, seeking the heart of God, waiting on the Lord to know exactly what direction we should go. Um, so here we are on the 15th of, of, of April on Good Friday is a public holiday would be the first meeting for Kingdom Women for this year. And um, it's going to be a, a day meeting. You know, we're going to be there for a while, a whole day meeting. It's going to be like a day conference so we'll come together we would pray we'll pray for our nation and pray as the lord lays upon our heart open the scriptures open the word and receive the instruction of the lord but the high point of that day would be the breakout sessions the mini conference sessions. so we're going to break out into three different groups of people we're going to have women or people men are invited okay if you see that you have a need that this meeting will meet please we invite you to come join us don't worry um so we're breaking out into three sections or three sessions all of them running concurrently praise god um so we're going to be dealing with business and financial matters uh, if you look at the scriptures you will see that there were women who ministered to jesus with their substance Okay, and there were uh, women that ministered to Paul. I remember a particular woman in the Bible called Lydia. The Bible talks about this woman. It said she sold purple. Purple at that time was the highest quality of fabric. So she sold expensive fabrics. She was a rich woman, right? And she gave her life to Jesus. She received Jesus and she invited Paul to stay in her home and she ministered to Paul. I believe she was a strength to the ministry of Paul. So there are women that need to be raised financially to for the gospel, for the kingdom of God. Okay. Now, apart from being raised for the kingdom of God, there are women that are going through stuff, difficulties, challenges, ends are not meeting. We want to look into that practically, right? Then we want to look at family life. A lot of marriages are, are, are going through challenges, difficulties. Um, many women are not happy in their homes. Neither are the husbands. That's why a lot of men are hypertensive, you know, have all kinds of issues because they are bottled up, um, you know, there are challenges in the home. So we want to look at how do we, how, how would it work? How do we make these things work? Okay. Now, uh, you also see that in homes, there are homes that, the family, the, the, the couple, the husband and the wife, the parents are having challenges with some of the children. We have difficult children. A lot of young people are on drugs. Right now we've had people call, talk to us about this child is you know, on drugs. This child has gone in and out of rehab. What is the way forward? How do we solve those problems? As a believer in the New Wine Company, you love the Lord, you're serving the Lord. You're drinking in the spirit of God, but you look at your life, it looks like it's a mess. Praise God. And then we're going to have another session of people looking at the spiritual life, combining life and ministry. How do I combine life and ministry? What if I'm called to ministry, but not full-time ministry? How do I make it work? Or how do I even find my path? I know I'm called. I know I have an assignment. But how do I navigate my way through that, right? Or just how do I enjoy my spiritual life, okay? Because Christianity is meant to be enjoyed, not to be endured. So how do I, how am I joyful? The Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And I say again, rejoice. And the kingdom of God is what? Righteousness is peace and is what? Joy in the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Now, how many of us are actually as joyful in the Holy Ghost as we ought to be. So how do I find joy and fulfillment in my prayer life, in my word life, in my daily Christian life? So these and much more 
is waiting for us on the 15th of April and we would serve lunch so um, everyone will be taken care of by the grace of God now you would please look at the information following this um, advertisement there will be a link for registration we'll need you to register so we know exactly the number of people that we're going to be having and um, come expectant and from today make up your mind to attend that's how you would attend plan to be there deal with things that will hinder you from coming is a public holiday do not travel if you want to attend <laughs> i'm bold enough to say that because i know the lord will bless you right but i mean if you're not in town would we'll have zoom links and you know the media will be uh, in full support of what is going on so no matter where you are from any part of the world you could stream in and be a part of what will happen on that day god bless you i look forward to seeing you forward this to as many women as many platforms and as many men as possible god bless you